어, 서울 내셔널 유니버시티 어, 교수 김 Hello. Dr. Kim, can you, can you hear me? Okay, Which welcome. One? Welcome okay. yeah. to uh, our you know, uh, TCTAP sessions for the live transmission. So we have, you know, Maurice and Dr. Gu and Gary Mint and many uh, distinguished, uh, you know, uh, discussion here. So we we'll just start uh, to introduce. Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, SNU Hospital. I'm H.S. Kim. My uh, uh, junior faculty is uh, Dr. Han Mo Yang mm -hmm. and Jung Kyu Han. And my uh, uh, fellows and technicians. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me introduce my case. Slide, please. Okay, 53 years old male. He's very young. He experienced severe chest pain on April 4th, he did not recognize its heart. So ongoing chest pain let him go to community hospital. There, inferior stenny was diagnosed, but that was two days later. Underwent emergent PCI of occluded distal RCA. Final angiogram shows three vessel disease involving left main with functional ischemia on both LAD and CERC. FFR was both less than 75%. They recommended cabbage, but patient refused it and visited me two weeks later. Plus, echo, ejection fraction 55% with ischemic insert at RCA territory. Angel shows left main proximal LAD diffuse critical stenosis with heavy calcification. Circus, critical stenosis with heavy calcification. Plus, slide shows a ICA angiogram at the community hospital. Total occlusion, we mm. after thrombosuction. Plus, they deployed Onyx. And he visited me two weeks later. Within four weeks, that was that line of stem cell therapy in our previous experience. Thus, I infused stem cell to infarct territory under the protocol of magic cell. This slide shows the inflated over the white blue catheter. And why inflation? I infuse the stem cell, 2 billion cells, through center lumen of over the white blue catheter at distal RC, at distal uh, uh, RC territory. Let me introduce scheme of magic cell protocol plus we mobilized bone marrow stem cells by sub-Q injection of GCSF for three days after emergent PCI. At fourth day, we collect mobilized peripheral blood stem cells through apheresis process and infuse them to selectively infarct territory through over-the-wire balloon catheter. The results of the protocol was published in uh, top journals, 14 journals from Lancet, Circulation, European Heart Journal. How about uh, uh, midterm efficacy plus? LV ejection fraction by cardiac MRI significantly improved for six month interval after cell infusion, while no change in control group. Plus, how about long term outcome? Maze free survival of patients with cell therapy on the top of emergent PCI was better than control patients with emergent PCI alone. Thus, uh, today's target is left main bifurcation lesion. You can see the critical stenosis at the distal left main, LAD os, and circ os. Mm -hmm. Plus, Areocardial view can see 
can show more clearly critical stenosis left this left main to circostin. I was finding still imaging a lady middle proximal ostium left main. Later, I will show you the real I was taken today. Plus, circ I was finding distal proximal ostium left main. We can see dirty thrombosis extending up to left main. Plus, I prepared several discussion points before touching deeply these uh, points. I can show you the today's NGO and IBIS findings. NGO prepared. How many NGO are back? Okay. This is our cutter view taken this morning. Plus. Area cranial view, critical stenosis LAD ostium, diffuse laser up to proximal to mid LAD, plus AP cranial view, plus hmm. spider view, LAD ostium, circa ostium, big obtuse marginal, yeah. early obtuse marginal. Seems the Plus, AP Cowder view. Basically, it's very heavy classified yeah, to these lesions. Right, right. Then I can show you the IVUS findings. IVUS, IVUS whole image room. Okay, this is a lady. IVUS pull back from mid proximal LAD. Vessel size is about 4 MLD, mm -hmm. still 2.5, huge plaque with spotted calcium with shadowing. Gets narrowed, pause, just 2 luminal diameter. Vessel size more than 4, huge plaque, play. Huge plug. Mm -hmm. Pause. This is a uh, LAD ostium. We can see the guide wire at uh, 12 o'clock mm -hmm. from the uh, circuit. We can see a uh, heavy classification from noon to 3 o'clock with shadowing. MLD is just two, vessel size more than four. Play here, this left main. Mm -hmm. Okay, circle Ibis. The luminary at the polygon of confluence is actually smaller than the left main itself. Yes, That's, but it's hard, to, it's hard to measure accurately. Pull back from mid circ. Diffused it is. MLD about two. Vessel size is four. Spotted calcium shadowing. Gets narrow. Pause zoom B. Pause. This, uh, you can see the wire at 5 o'clock. That was from mm -hmm. early OM. Play, pause. Actually, the Austin early OM looks not so ugly. Play, pause. This is round circle us. You can see the uh, round shape, the upper part, the diameter is less than two. Yeah. Play. Okay, this is left. Uh, this is the left main. 
The size of the five lumen is wide, but there is dirt thrombotic materials. Okay, once again, NGO. And slide. I prepared several discussion points. Slide will be a whole screen. The patient A's is 53 years old. Thus, plus, I consider BRS for this patient because he can forget about that beyond three years for the long remaining life. There are some hurdles in complexity, bifurcation, heavy classification, but we can overcome such a hurdle. But the hurdle that we cannot overcome is vessel size. Left main lumen size is more than four. Yeah. That extends uh, at least by 0.5 millimeter plus 3.5, the biggest BRS. So I gave up. I gave BRS. I switched to metal DS. Plus, how to treat bifurcation left main? We suggest paradigm shift in the recent paper. In the old year, TRR of left main is about 10%, but it differs depending on stent number. One stent, 5%. 2%, 20%, because of high instance of side branch restenosis. But it changed. TLR of left main, contemporary DS, just 5%. 5% in one stent, 5% in two stent. And why not two stent? If the side branch is big enough to supply large territory of myocardium, like this case. Plus, then which strategy among two stent technique? Mini crush, T stent, Culot, the choice depends on the size discrepancy and angle between dot vessels. In this case, size are compatible between two vessels. Angle is obtuse. Thus, I chose T stenting. The final point that I'd like to raise is plus polymer issue. Most companies are now focus on degraded polymer DES, but we don't know the answer. The polymer is really bad or not. The second issue is a stronger agents, this is Prasquarel and Tycagrella. The recommend doses from Western study is a little bit strong for Asian people. To get some answers from these two essential questions, I run host British Politic ACSRCT. Since two years ago, we randomized 3,400 ACS patients into two by two factorial design. In stent arm, we compare degraded polymer DES like Artmaster versus stable polymer DES like Promos Premier. In Proscript arm, we compare 10 milligrams versus 5 milligrams maintenance dose. After randomization, this patient is allocated to Artmaster with 5 milligrams prosperol. I'm happy to use Artmaster because of several reasons. The first one, Artmaster is very appropriate stent for bifurcation PCI because of the large cell size for side branch and good expandability. It can expand from 30.5 millimeter stand to up to 5.5 millimeter without breakage or stand fracture. This is uh, what I prepared for you today. Is there any comment, question? Then we are going to start the procedure. No, okay, I, I think you open uh, very, well, uh, very well the discussion and uh, agree with you that the Ultimaster is a wonderful stand for left main so, because so of the capacity of the expansion and the size of the cell that can be also very well expanded. So, so this patient is 54 years old. Well, do you know what his body mass index is? Body mass index is about 25 or 28. Okay. It's a, a 
His body habitus is average, Korean. Yeah, so his risk of bleeding on prazogrel is going to be very low, even at 10 milligrams. And I wonder, uh, is this patient going to be randomized to 5 or 10 milligrams of prazogrel? Randomized to 5. Yeah, is there really any equipoise about his bleeding risk? You, you want to do... No, uh, the his... optimal PR value ranges from 80 to 180. Mm -hmm. If we prescribe 10 milligrams per hospital, the average PR value is less than 100. Mm -hmm. But when we prescribe half, the average PR is about 150. Thus, both uh, uh, doses are within the sweet spot. So we don't know the answer. Five would be better than ten, vice versa. So we try to uh, uh, get some insight. If five and ten are compatible, we can choose five or ten, depending on body size or risk of bleeding or risk of ischemia. Yeah, so this guy's also a little unusual in that you've given him GCSF Inflation. Uh, to stimulate stem cell production, but you've also given his bone marrow a kick. He's going to be pumping Inflation. out a lot of immature, very active platelets, uh, you know, in the setting of a complex stenting procedure. So that's one more Inflation. thing to keep in mind. I mean, would you have considered that a con you know, an exclusion criteria for a study like this? Inflation. Inflation. I'd have to think about it long and hard. I mean, he's a young guy, his bleeding risk at 10 milligrams is fairly low, and now you've given him a, a thrombopoietic drug, basically. So. Okay. Balloon. What size balloon do you use? 2.75 by 15. Mm -hmm. uh, Metroni Euphora. They introduced newly uh, the changing point Euphora compared with Legend is low profile with good pushability. Thus, I tried to save the balloon. Did, did you measure Heavy an upper part region? in the intermediate branch? So why, I'm sorry? Uh, it looks at the osteo, it looks uh, quite diseased, and it's not a uh, vessel to ignore. Yeah. That's the reason I uh, prepared uh, uh, guide wire in the yeah, marginal yeah, branch. Yeah. The, this is depends on, do we have to touch before stenting a circ or just let it alone? It is debatable. Some uh, physicians prefer uh, dilatation of side branch before main vessel stenting, but some do not uh, prefer uh, pre-touch. In this case, I, I just uh, do circ stent and see there is a compromise of optimizer branch. That's what I will do. I have, I have a concern with uh, the use of uh, Amplatz catheter as a guiding because Amplatz is either in or out, but it's very difficult to keep it marginal. Inflation. And uh, there is uh, probably a higher occurrence of conflict with the guiding, with, with, with the, the, the left hand stent. So normally I'm a fan of Amplatz catheter, but not in this case. I would use uh, EBU probably. Inflation. I do agree it's either in or out, and for exact positioning in the osteum, it's sometimes difficult. Mm -hmm. 275 predilation with the proximity in the main, yeah. right? So, Dr. Kim, yes. how would you define the, uh, you know, uh, distal stand landing zone? It's uh, the many that we have to decide the stand lengths, right? Basically, diffuse disease. How could you define the distal landing part? In this case, uh, I'd, I'd like to deploy a stent from the proximal. And wow. Artemester, uh, the size limitation, the length limitation is 28 millimeters. Thus, I try to deploy 3.5, 28 millimeters for both sides. In other words, uh, from circa ostium to circ and the left main to proximal AD, then I see the distal part and decide additional stent is required or not. If required, I can uh, maintain 3.5 for circ mm -hmm. 
and reduced uh, down to 3.0 to LED. Okay. So now what is the stain strategy? The T staining? Yes, I'd like to do T stain, traditional T stain. Yeah. Oh, provision. Mm. Artemester 3.5, 28 for circ, and balloon, the same balloon to LED. My uh, habit, personal habit, is uh, I just stand the first stand and, and circ while the balloon is inside the LED. If the stand stroke of circ is a little bit outward toward left main to LA the pass, mm -hmm. then I'd like to some kind of uh, touch with balloon to uh, compress the truded, protruded uh, strut from circ. LA the balloon. So Professor Kim, it's, it's Dr. Gu, so that it's great to see you and your, our team in, from the screening, so you look nicer than, you know, <laughs> when I direct see you. So that yeah, the, you, you have to participate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that the, I, have, I have to be here. So, that the, so that there can be a question. So why do you start with the classic T, not a modified? Or so that you have to do two stenting anyway. So that why you start circ first, not from LAD first? So can you let us know your strategy about that? As I mentioned before, there are two factors that I depend. The size discrepancy between two dot vessels an angle between vessels. If the size discrepancy is large, then we can consider a mini crush or kissing stent. If the angle is narrow, culotte or mini crush. But in this case, sides are compatible between two vessels and angles are obtuse. That's the reason why I chose T stent. No, but uh, I agree with the T uh, with the T stenting strategy. This is what we would do too. But why you begin by the uh, the stent of the circ and not the the, the LED one? Uh, what you are doing is not a provisional. It's oh, a systematic oh, oh, oh. T stenting beginning with the side branch. Yeah, yeah. So the angle, angle uh, between left main to circ is um, rather acute. Uh, left main to LED is straightforward. Thus, when we deploy the left main to LED stand first, it may be some scratch of the stand uh, when I deploy the second stand to circ. Scratch of the surface of the ES we cannot see, we cannot confirm, but biologically it may be a kind of important factor to produce a local instant resources. It's very good. Just 2.75 PDL is good. 3.5 stand test. Okay, uh, spider view. So it's 3.5, Spider view. 28? Yeah, 3.5, 28. Okay, right. Depending on the right, proximal part, actually is, you know, kind of a... Snake? We cannot <laughs> discriminate with the mini crushing like that. Right. Yeah, so, uh, I would say how about this? micro crush, <laughs> micro crush, right? Because it is, it is protected by the balloon, yeah, so that yeah. the, it's, it's much smaller than. Oh. Big Do you agree? Micro crush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Inflation? Micro crush. Yeah. 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 Die. Okay. So, Jan? Remark, pressure, nine, okay. Deflation. Deflation. Okay. So uh, my personal habit is to inject dye when the stent balloon is fully 
expanded to check the proximal and the stent. Then just a little bit withdraw inflation once again. Ten. Deflation. Then I inflate the LED balloon while retrieving to prepare the pass through left main to LED for the second step. Inflation maximum? So LED balloon is 2.75, which was used in. 2.75, uh, yeah. Okay. Deflation. Balloon crushing first. Yeah. Micro crushing. Right. Euphoria. Mm. And then. So, are you going to remove the circuit wire, or the, you're going to keep the circuit wire? Just after Angel. Just see it. Sure. Yeah. How about the OM? Yeah, the OM is pinched. Huh? Yeah. Good. But the flow is good. Later? Okay. Team okay. three. Right. Okay. They are too bad for far. Just give, give the second yeah, stand. Yeah. Small branches. Many things. Mm. 3.5, twin eight. I let the suck wire for the second stand, uh, because of the stability of the guiding yeah. catheter, because I have to re retrieve the guiding catheter uh, out, up to, uh, out to the left main ostium. Mm -hmm. So re-engage may be uh, required, and that time, OM wire, circ wire will help. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, uh, that you can uh, uh, push on your wire to disengage your guiding catheter, especially because he is with an uh, amplatz. Huh? Don't you think there is a risk of damaging the wire between the two stents? The classical crush and but, even the most, but, uh, most, the, uh, most recent uh, crush technique, they remove the, the, the wire the, from the side branch. The length of the uh, uh, jailed wire is very short. Just left main is yeah. not so long. And left main vessel size is really big enough. Yeah compared to uh, 3.5 stand, there is no resistance. Mm -hmm. So you want Question? to cover Ostel, Ostel and main too? Yeah. OK, great. Test it. Mm -hmm. Testing. How about this? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it looks good. Just uh, once again, test. Let's check from different view. Okay, yeah, inflation. maybe another view. And epiphanial okay. is good too. Inject. Okay. Deflation. Outer cranial view. Once again, once again, inflate. Die, jump, be. Inflate? All right. In shoot. Okay. Deflate. Yeah. Apicranial view. So inflation. Yeah, deflate. Cowder view.
셋다 테스트 해볼까? 오케이. 셋다 테스트. 셋의 준비. 그렇지. 슈. 그래. 예, 그래. 슈. 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 Before I see a, a standing at the uh, uh, community hospital, mm -hmm. it was over 70. But now, regular center score is about 45. AP? And you know, this is what frequently happened in Korea, so that the, the original Just hospital recommended surgery and he refused and moved mm -hmm. to the other hospital, so that the, unless we fix this lesion, he's Korean. going to move to the other hospital, right? Mm -hmm. So it's... 약간 아래요. 테스트. How about good? Inflate. But uh, let's say in France, the patient do the same. Huh? When uh, they are not happy with the proposed treatment by uh, by an hospital, they go to another one. Huh? <laughs> When they really mm -hmm. want PCI and they are proposed surgery and they really don't want surgery. 20 seconds. Then they, They just go some exactly the same story. Yeah? They Deflation. come to us to have PCI. Yeah? Okay, inflate. Shipsa, 14. Deflation. We have uh, very intriguing, you know, data and uh, combine uh, combine the you know main uh, study with the syntax pre combat past and. We have some subgroup analysis. The number of stents for the remaining disease, single stent, two stent would be okay. However, the number of stent increased the yeah, hard end point, even in the you know frequency of myocardial infarction and sometimes mortality is increased. And so, a very uh, unpublished Cover. data. We have a very interesting issues. Yeah. So, is there a certain cutoff? So, three, four, five. Yeah, actually, one, two, three, four, and three and four stand number of stand is uh, is not so good uh, uh, rather than the surgery. Right? Uh, single stand, two stand is uh, you know better than the surgery in, in the main stand procedures. Mm -hmm. No, but I, I like it. It's logical somewhere. Huh? Too right. too many stands uh, because. We continue to, uh, to speak about the syntax score, but syntax score is stand dependent. Eh? It was done with taxus. If uh, we are uh, we have with the new stand, much more uh, room uh, for sure. Uh, yeah. The less the better, right? Yeah. Okay. You want to do a wire recrossing? Wire exchange, yeah. All right. And the wire is uh, moved toward the circ, and I removed circ. This is circ wire. I introduced it to the LED. Mm -hmm. 
3.5, euphoria 2.7, 주발, 주발. Okay, it's another, you know, I've learned so from these cases, you know, stem diffuse disease, mm -hmm. stem first the proximal part, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. then one of the second, yeah, yeah second stem for the you know, distal part, we can, uh, we cannot measure exactly what, uh, where the, the appropriate zone, however, <laughs> proximal stem first, and then we can measure, right? Yeah. What is the next stem for the distal? It's, it's good. Yeah, that's, good. that's a good point, and you can do that with the, this new generation of stand that have an excellent crossability. Mm -hmm. It's not an issue to go through uh, the first right. stand. Yeah? Right. So, what is I'd next? I'd like to uh, use. Yeah. Uh, I'd like still. to use uh, use the Euphora 2.75 mm -hmm. to widen the. Side strut of uh, a lady stand to pass to the circ. Great, easily pass. It's right? possible. All right. Inflation. Not, not too much difficulties. My, the effect of a micro crush. Deflate. Right. Okay. It's good. So nowadays, uh, balloon is really uh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Low profile, uh, good pushability. So you're using only one balloon, right? Repeatedly. Yes, until now one balloon. Okay. <laughs> so saving a lot of lots and of then, resources. Yeah. An additional two balloons for a kissing balloon. For the kissing, yeah. The plane. Uh, prepare. Inflation, deflation, okay. After kissing inflation, uh, I'd like to pay attention to the jailed early OM. the Kim, will you, will you remove the lemon before kitchen? <laughs> no, no, I just, <laughs> I just let that in. Because uh, there is a possibility of uh, rewiring that lesions to salvage the uh, jail. There is no, uh, no, there is no concern about no. peeling off the coating of wire. The jail segment is very short. Okay. Left many is not so severely calcified. If the JY is uh, uh, segment is long and calcified, yeah. it is very risky. But short without calcification, no problem. Yeah, completely agree. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing it. Oh, um, wire kinking, or, right. Um, so okay, braiding, oh. wire braiding. Okay. Coax. So AP cutter, AP. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the AP cutter. Great. Chain, changing angle can, can work. This is past the balloon. Simply. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. More questions? Yeah. LED inflation? Okay. Deflation? What size of balloon do you use it's for the LED? 3.5. C5. Both. Yeah, 3.5 for LED. Short one. So inflation. Mm 
deflation. So once again, a lady maximum. So can not go deflate up or hang it in place. The deflation, circ maximum inflation. So you're performing sequential maximal and then deflation. Yes. Followed by deflation. Then final kissing and out. Inflation, kissing, deflation, and then I check the left main Austin. Okay, inflate, nominal. Make a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Okay, deflate. I'll try to make the funnel shape of the left main stand. Snagging B. Okay. See. Jump on one. Sure. Great. Great. Good. Pay attention to the big obtuse marginal branch too. Large stand. Okay. I would like to do Ivers examination. Okay, I was circ first. Okay, tell us. Please don't forget about retrieval of guiding catheter out of left main ostium. So, put back. Big pass. Minimal disease. Size is four. MLD is more than three with moderate concentric plug. Side branch out. Good. This all edge of stand. Good. Good landing. And LD is about three. Okay. Stand down at almost seven. There's probably yeah. There there's some mild malposition of the struts. Not anything that's important, but it is clearly there. The way you tell is here the struts look perfectly flat, but when you have a strut that has multiple lines going deep, mm -hmm. that usually means that there's malaposition, like right there at twelve at six o'clock. Okay. And here you can see at um, four, five, six o'clock, you can see struts that are it a little mal malaposed because they've got depth to the image and here. Again, nothing the that I would fix, but it's just notable. It's good coverage of sarcostium. Mm -hmm. Left main. Big enough. Yeah, okay. Big. Very big, yeah. Then I'm I'm going to switch to LAD.
one or two very uh, Gary, do you have any uh, small segment of a man of positions may influence the any uh, zero influence right zero influence zero influence <laughs> and you know the, the frequency of IVIS detected malposition is about 15 percent the frequency right. of OCT is right. about 50 percent um, there has never been a study that has shown any relationship Maybe between cranial? malposition and acute malposition and outcomes as long as the stent is well expanded. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Too much information, get, you know. Yeah. Okay. Put it back. Mm. Oh, big artery too. All right, good. Yeah. Good, good, distal, distal, good distal edge. Yeah. Two. Three, three by, three by twenty-four. Okay, standing area is more than seven millimeters. Yeah. Six and seven. Here it's a little smaller. Right. This small here. All right. Two. So that probably is going to be the MSA within the LED stent. Mm -hmm. That area we we passed. Maybe we need a little bit, you know, high pressure inflation. Yeah, don't probably think they do under the area, right? No reason not pressure? to, because the rest of it is so well expanded. Mm -hmm. MLD is free. Okay. One minute. Near to LAD mm -hmm. Austin. Mm -hmm. Again, you see some areas of malaposition, like at um, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Nothing that's important. Very short. Segment of land expansion. And Lady Ostiaman? Okay. Yeah, I would measure that as well, but I think it's probably okay. Here. Lady Ostiaman? And, and here. Mm -hmm. And then we're transitioning to the left main. I think there are probably three areas that I would just measure to make sure they're okay. Okay. LA those team area I'm too okay. Dr. Kim? Yeah? All right. It's really uh, thank you for your, you know, uh, nice mm. demonstration. Time right, we have very much time. And so what would you do that in the what is your plan for some uh, under expanded areas? Did you do the high pressure inflation for that? Or some little bit wrong? We can measure it is over six. Mm -hmm. Let the lawn. 5.5. If I uh, re implant this area, mm -hmm. 6.7. Right, good. Okay. If we re, re, re inflate this region, we have to do a uh, kissing balloon once again. Uh -huh. Right. Really? Uh, 6.7 square millimeters. Good. It's okay. You know, very complex uh, the main intervention yeah. Yeah. live demonstration is really uh, thank you for joining us and congratulations yeah. it's good you know, nice thank, you. thank you very much